talk to me or tell me the story of your first experience with music. Now, this could be your first song you ever remember hearing with your parents laying on your daddy's chest or something, or it could be the first song that made you cry, but just the first time music made you feel something that you couldn't explain. Okay, I got the I got the perfect time. Okay, all right. This I don't re I don't remember how long ago. Nah, this was a long time ago. I don't remember exactly, man. But this had to be around the time Meek Mill dropped "Ready or Not." Okay, but that was a minute ago. Yeah. Long story short, I heard the original beat, like the beat of itself. Well, I heard somebody rapping on it, rapping on the um, Ready or Not beat. Where? But you know, the original beat is that I don't want to know. Yeah, but with Mario Wines. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That beat, like, all right, so now that beat, the first time I heard that beat is the first time I felt like connected to a beat. Really? Like, that was that was my first freestyle beat I think I ever, like, that's the first beat I ever freestyled on, I think. And is it on SoundCloud or no. YouTube? I posted it on Facebook. Oh, damn. That was a minute, a minute ago yeah. there. Wait, how old was you then? Well, if you want to put it out there. I probably was like, like 13, 14. Okay, so you've been doing it for a little minute. Okay. Yeah, but nah, that was like, I was <clears throat> doing it way before that too. But I was always just <clears throat> writing to beats that like either my brothers picked or people gave to me. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. If my my brothers really picked my beats for real when I was first starting, and now when I was thirteen, I was just like randomly one day I'm just listening to, I'm just watching YouTube videos, and then somebody's freestyle had popped up, and they were doing that beat, and I was like, nah, I gotta find that beat. Oh, okay, and that's so, why I asked. Where did you hear? Where did you hear that beat at? So yeah. you were on YouTube, yeah, and you heard somebody else freestyle. Over yeah, that somebody else was freestyle. Yeah, over it. And I was you. like, oh yeah. I need to find that beat. And then eventually, like, you know, I went to my brother and stuff. And I'm yeah, like, yo, what it. beat is this? And he's like, oh. all right, but yeah, that's this. And then I found a beat. And it's so real. I wrote probably like three, four versions of freestyles to that one beat. Like, I was addicted to the beat for a minute. Addicted to the beat. I like <laughs> that. Addicted to the I have a similar, like, <clears throat> like hunch that I get whenever it's something I'm like immediately connected to. Yeah. Then I'm like telling myself stories or talking myself through just different <laughs> emotions that I'm feeling on it. So like you, I'm going to assume those four different versions you had were just about different types of emotions or different things. Yeah. Like I feel like every time, like with that specific beat, every time I heard it, I always thought of something different as far as lyrics wise. Like, Mm. As far as lyrics, I always could come up with something different every time I heard the beat. Yeah. So. All right. Well, do you remember or do you, I mean, obviously the the actual original song by Mario Winans, had you heard that song, the actual song before, like around the house or with your mom, your dad or the beauty shop, wherever? I think I have heard it, but I can't remember because I know it too well now. But at that time, I'm pretty sure I've heard it around. Yeah. But it was really the beat itself. Like, yeah. The instrumental. Yeah, the instrumental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think it's something to say about, well, let me back it up, actually. The, the, The Weeknd and 21 had that Creep song on Metro's Project. Remember that? You know that song? Okay. Well, they sampled that beat, too. And I remember when I first heard... That was, I gotta listen to that. Yeah, you've heard it. Creeping is a it, like it was a top charted song for a How while. How does it go? Um, I don't want to know. It's really the actual song. It's just the weekend singing. If she playing, no, yeah, yeah, I definitely hear that. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. but that's the same. That's the same oh, yeah, sample yeah. from that song. Mm-hmm. But I think it's something about either the chords or whatever it's it is sam- in that yeah, beat in that a- sample. That feels so good. Because when I first heard that, I was like, damn. Because look, in the original, remember, it's still that. Mm-hmm. And that that's a sample, too. Mm-hmm. So, like, you know what's crazy? <clears throat> I love sample beats now when I make music, right? Yeah. Back then, they weren't because they weren't called that. You feel me? But that's literally what it was. That's literally what I used to write to. Like, What were they called back then? Like, what, those sample beats? Yeah. 
they was just called like tight beats. Oh, or, tight like, beats. Yeah, yeah, you know, like it was no. I wasn't familiar with people taking snippets from uh, another song and putting it in a beat, and that's what mm-hmm. I wasn't like familiar with that. Yeah. So at this time, I'm just looking at, at it like, yo, this beat is so fire. fire. I've never heard nothing <laughs> like this. <laughs> Meanwhile, and, yeah. it's a sample from a sample from a sample from a sample. But, yeah. you know, music, re- like history repeats itself. Music is passing down the recipes mm-hmm. and that same infectious energy that they had. I don't want to get it wrong. Was it the Fugees that, that had the, the song originally? Mm-hmm. Yeah, something like that. Okay. I might that up <laughs> oh well if i didn't think i um that and then to mario wines then to, to me then to 21 the weekend and then even you wrapped on it like yeah that's important it's still important um all right and it's probably gonna be many more people that's gonna come out with, more and yeah. more more especially because more and more ears or not ears but more and more young creators or creators in general are being born into this technology. Like, I didn't even really realize example, what music really... I mean, I knew what music was, but I didn't even realize to make music you had needed a DAW or whatever until I got to, like, 21, too. Like, I didn't even know... I didn't know how people were making music. I don't know. know. What is a DAW? <clears throat> a digital audio workstation. Something like that. A studio? <clears throat> Pro Tools. Ableton. Okay. Yeah, yeah. The stuff that, like, they actually... Yeah, the stuff that they do in the studio. The engineer. I, <laughs> I just make the music. 